Hi guys, welcome back to Orchid 101. Thank you so much for being here with me today. So as promised, today I am gonna go ahead and give this little starter greenhouse a quick review. I purchased this last week. Hi Tormenta. I purchased this last week and um, I set it up. I put some um, orchids in it, just a few to start off with. I didn't wanna really pack it with too many orchids in there just because I wanted to test it out and see how they liked it, how they did in there, just to start off with, just for a couple of months to see how everything went before I really um, put more in there. Um, but I just wanna give you a product review on it. Um, as far as the installation goes, the setting up of the, um, the greenhouse itself goes and just my feel and my thought on the product itself as far as uh, the quality of the material and anything else that I can give you my insight on if you are interested in buying something similar or you know this same product or anything like that so let's get into it um, real quick the greenhouse itself was fairly easy kind of sort of to build um, the rods are made of metal and the attachments to each section are of plastic. So every time, like every, let me just get in here to show you guys. Um, all of the rods are metal and then they all get attached with uh, plastic pieces in uh, intersections. So there you go. There you see it. All of the pieces are plastic the tarp itself like the actual uh enclosure of the greenhouse is sort of nice um it is clear but it also has it's kind of humid in there it's clear but it has the green um the the green pattern so that the lighting doesn't really you know so that there's not too much sunlight in there and it sort of protects you know your plants as well um so it's clear so that the light can get through it but it's also uh greenish like green squares which is what i liked for the orchids because you know orchids cannot get direct sunlight um so i liked that it was kind of concealed with a little bit of this this green which from far makes the greenhouse look instead of clear it makes it look green so i did add a little bit of um my own kind of revamped it um it comes with these little metal rods i don't know if you guys can see i'm just going to kind of zoom in here these little metal rods that you just put into the ground and it's supposed to hold them down down i didn't like these they were fairly tiny um very thin and not too long so i felt like they were too flimsy so since i live on a farm i have an abundance of materials <laughs> um so i had these stones and i just went all around the um the greenhouse and i wrapped it around with three layers of these um garden stones and this gave it a little bit more stability for me um it's not going to move as much so you know i just feel like if there's a, ever a strong wind or you know since i live in florida i um I just feel like if you know since there's a strong wind or anything like that it was not going to um, move as easy as if it just had those little rods there um another thing that the greenhouse comes with the door is a zipper door which is good um and it also comes you can roll it up and it has the straps for you to tie it down to on each side so that's okay um, I like that because you can leave it open. Right now, I'm leaving it open so it could air out. Um, as you can tell, there's like a lot of humidity in here. Um, 
the humidity in there right now is reading 99%. So, and I have a fan in there. Um, so it does hold a lot of humidity. Um, and I wanted to just kind of control that a little bit. So I'm letting it air out. I'm going to leave it open for a couple of hours and I'm going to let the fan in there run. Um, but it does hold a lot of humidity. So, um, I like the door that you can just like leave it propped open and all of that. And then another thing that I noticed that I like, um, the shelves are, you know, this little metal material. They normally came with these little strings so that you can just tie the strings to the metal, to the bars and the shelving so that you can tie them down. I felt like that was going to be a little bit too flimsy. Um, so I used instead uh, zip ties and really tied them down really tightly so that the shelving doesn't move at all. Because I'm going to be putting pots on here that are, are a little bit heavier. Um, you know, like ceramic pots or um, concrete pot, pots and stuff like that. And probably bigger orchids. So I'm going to, you know, I didn't want these to be falling or, you know, um, bowing down or sinking in or anything like that. So I used, you know, this was just something that I um, modified myself. I use the straps on each side. I use four for each shelf instead of the string that it normally came comes with. And then also on the inside of the tarp, on the inside of the greenhouse, you have these ties that are used to tie this the 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 tarp of the greenhouse, the actual um, shell of the greenhouse down to the to the metal framing. I didn't tie them down because my bricks on the outside are actually holding the tarp down. So I just didn't wanna go through all the trouble of tying them down, but you can, um, you know, if you wanna do all of that. Um, so yeah, you have all these ties all around the greenhouse. There you go, you see it. Um, and then they're all in almost every corner so that you can tie them down everywhere. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Um, this is the the greenhouse. It, I use the top rod here. I'm going to use it for my Vandas. Um, you do have eight shelves, so four on each side. And then you have like this little bottom compartment here that you can put other plants on the ground if you want to. And you can... Um, or you can put, you know, you can put storage if you want to. It's a fairly small greenhouse. It's definitely made for somebody who's just starting out. Um, not very large. I will put the dimensions in the description. I'll also link down below the link where I purchased it. Um, like I said earlier in the video, the instructions for it were a little ba vague. Um, I'll show you guys a picture of that as soon as... Um, you know, I'll put a picture of that in, in the video here of how the instructions, uh, the instructions come in the package. And I'll show you guys also, you know, us assembling it. Um, but yeah, overall, I am uh, satisfied with this product for now. Um, I've only been using it for about a week, so I don't really have a review on it as far as how well it works for the plants yet. I just wanted to give you guys a review on how the setup is so far. So, you know, hopefully in a couple of months or, you know, more along, a little longer, I'll let you guys know. I'll give you guys an update of how my plants are doing or my orchids are doing inside of the greenhouse itself with the setup that I have in there. I may have to modify, you know, what equipment I put in here or modify what kind of plants I have in there. Right now I have, you know, kind of two of each, two Vandas, two Philanopsis, two Oncidiums, you know, two um, Dendrobiums. And I, I did put my vanilla in there just to kind of test it out because I do know the vanilla likes a lot of humidity and a lot of heat. So I'm just kind of testing it out with two of each plant just to kind of see 
what is, you know, what they like and how they do. So I will update you guys on how the orchids actually do, how fast they bloom in there, you know, how much care I have to give them while they're in the greenhouse and things like that. But as far as the actual setup of the greenhouse, it was fairly easy, even though the instructions are a little bit vague. Um, it is a nice greenhouse. You may need to modify a couple of things when you first, you know, when you first set it up, like I did with the shelving and with, you know, putting stuff around it to make it more stable. Um, things like that, you know, that you probably have around your house or anything like that. But overall, it is a nice little starter greenhouse um, for the price. It's, it's very nice. I think it was only like... $66.99 I mean I think I paid a total of 70 something dollars after taxes and it was delivered quite quickly so like I said I'll link everything down below and thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video as always follow us on Facebook we do have a Facebook group now and thank you so much for being a part of my community a part of my channel and thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.